Hey you guys, it's Mimsy here. Do you sometimes long to have a slower pace in life? Today I'm gonna show you a project that will slow down your pace a little bit. We're gonna do a little hand sewing project with a stem stitch. I'm gonna make this pillow kind of a Valentine's theme. This is what I'm gonna show you how to do and this is a stem stitch, embroidery stitch. Let's get started. So I printed the sculpture, this famous love sculpture done by Robert Indiana, formerly Robert Clark. And I'm gonna do the transfer method and I'll show you how I do that. So here's my uh, piece of paper. I go ahead and tape it to my window with the uh, front of it toward the window. And with a soft pencil, I'm going to just trace the outline of this. I've been doing this transfer method for years. I don't use transfer paper. I just can do this for no money. You always have a pencil. It's not necessary to use an overhead projector or any kind of projector, although I sometimes do that on larger projects. But for small things like this, this transfer method is really easy. You always have a window and a pencil and it doesn't need to be neat. You just need to cover the edges so that when you trace it out on the front, some of the pencil transfer to your project. Here's my transfer paper. You can see the pencil lines are pretty messy. It doesn't have to be neat. We're gonna flip that over and put it on our pillow. This is my pillow front right here. So I'm gonna center this on my pillow. And actually, when you're doing something on a pillow front like this, you wanna put your design a little bit closer to the top than the bottom because when your pillow is sitting on your piece of furniture, it squishes down a little bit. So this will be squished down and if you put it directly in the center, then your design will be cut off at the bottom or it'll just look like it's closer to the bottom than the top. So always put your design toward the top, center it. I'm just gonna eyeball it. And then you just transfer the pattern and just go right along the edge. And you see how that transfers? I'll give you a close up here in just a sec. Okay, so I've already gone up this side and I'm gonna show you the stem stitch across this line here. So we're gonna start right here where the previous row of stitching is. And since I don't have a embroidery hoop, I'm gonna show you the way to do this where you can keep your thread all on the top after you've done your first couple stitches because this would be difficult to do if we had to go over, under, over, under. So bring your thread up right next to that previous row of stitches, drop it back down, you know, whatever your desired stitch length is. And then you're gonna keep a loop and you're gonna keep that loop towards the top the whole way. It doesn't matter if you go towards the top, keep the loop up here or down here. It doesn't make any difference, whatever is easier for you, but you wanna do it the same way every stitch. So we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna bring that needle back up through the, th the fabric in between these two stitches. Okay. And then pull that. Then drop your needle back in at your desired stitch length and bring it back up right next to that previous stitch. And then again, keep your loop up towards the top Bring that nice and tight. And then same thing, drop your needle in right here. Bring your stitch back up right next to that previous stitch, keeping that thread up there. Same thing. Try not to split the previous stitch and stay on your pencil line. See? 
This is a great stitch for doing script type of writing because it, it does so nicely around curves. With this, it's a little bit harder to get a nice square edge, but it works. So in order to keep my thread on the same side, I just keep spinning my fabric in my hand so that it's always at the top, so that the loop is always at the top. Okay, I'm starting to get to the end of my thread here and I may actually run out. starting to get short here. I'm going to do one last stitch. Okay, so I'm gonna continue around here and then I'll show you how I'm gonna do, how I did the corners. Okay, so I'm gonna start my stitch right there next to this row of stitches. Keeping my thread towards the top. Bring that back halfway to the stitch, not all the way. Keep the thread towards the top and then take another stitch. Now this one, you're gonna go all the way back to that. But I don't wanna pick up any of those threads. There we go. Keep it, keep your thread to the top. Okay. So at the corner there, I'm gonna drop it to the back and then bring it back up, just like you're starting out a new stitch. Just wanna make sure I'm right on that line. I'm gonna spin this around so that my thread will be at the top. Just like, if, just like as if you're starting a new stitch and I shouldn't have pulled that through all the way. So let's leave that looped up like that. Bring the stitch up halfway between those two stitches and then leave the thread to the top and then just keep, keep going. Now this one you bring your stitch all the way back to that stitch and that's how I've been doing the corners. This right here is a little curved part. But, so you see how that makes a nice corner? You basically just drop your needle in right there and start over as if you're starting a brand new. So this is a super, super simple project that anyone can do. And it's a great, great way to teach children how to sew by hand stitching and doing projects like this where it's very simple just following lettering because it's such immediate gratification. You get to see your work come together so quickly. So I'm just about finished. I've got to pick up a little bit more embroidery thread and then I will finish this up and then put this pillow together. I'm going to show you how to make an invisible zipper closure for this pillow. Check that video out next right here.